How are you? I'm sorry to say all the nurses and doctors have left the hospital, and it's just me, the witch, your witch doctor. So I'm going to be doing a head-to-toe examination in a very spooky fashion, and you're just going to have to deal with it. This is my familiar. She has a little pumpkin that she brought for you. So I'm going to go ahead and get comfortable. I'm going to go ahead and take off my witch hat, okay? And just put it right by your side. Do you have any questions about the experience? Okay. See, I would have questions if I were you, but you do you and I'll do me. And we'll both have a very spooky time together, okay? Okay. So, what I'd like to do first is ask some questions to get to know you, okay? So, can you verify your first and last name and date of birth? Very good. Very good. Any ailments? Okay. Any allergies to potions? Any allergies to mugwort? Any allergies to um, tongue of frog? Wool of bat? Okay, paw of dog? Monkey saliva? Dragon's breath? liver. Okay. Okay. So, no allergies to any of those things that you, that you're aware of. Okay. Penicillin. Okay. Wait, we're not using penicillin here. This is going to be a witch doctor. I'm at the dog exam. Okay. So, without further ado, I'm going to get started. I'm going to be taking your vitals and I'm going to be assessing you for various things that interest me. Okay. Okay. So, so I'm putting on gloves first. start by just putting a very calming ointment all over your face because you seem to be a little stressed, okay? It's okay. There's nothing that I'm going to do that's going to hurt you. It's just going to help you or make you feel very funny. Okay. All right. Okay. Um. This is that. Um. Toads, glaze that we talked about before. Glazing the glaze on the top of a toad. Toad slime. Um, eau de toad slime. Toad slime. It's very exotic. It's very um, sophisticated. It's a delicacy in certain countries and in certain um, dynasties and timelines. So in the Middle Ages, toad slime. In the royal society, so you, it's gonna help you. It's gonna help you feel very smooth. It's going to reduce inflammation. Okay, you need that inflammation reduced. Okay, excellent. So, how are you feeling? It should feel a little. Ting should tingle a little bit. I'm going to just take some more. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to just. Do you feel relaxed? That should feel very relaxing. It's very tingly all over. See, I'm not afraid to use it, so it's not going to hurt you. Okay. Alright, so next I'm just going to give you a spider treatment. And this is before we do our vitals, okay? So you're just going to be feeling this spider just on, on your face, okay? Very good. Excellent. By rubbing the a certain gaseous oxide that really is good for healing purposes. I don't, need, I don't need to explain this to you. You get it. You're cool. You get it. You get this. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. So I'm going to take this and just lay it on your forehead. It's a nice gray spider. Okay, the spider is a nice pearl gray. All right, 
No scarring, no scratching on this spider. Okay, let's go ahead and palpate the spider. Okay. The spider feels good, okay. Okay, so... So that's done. Her treatment's finished. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take your and make sure your heart is beating properly, okay? So... So just breathe in for me and breathe out. Normally. Like a real person. Okay, good. Two, three. And out. Two, three. Good. Your heart is beating slow and steady. Sounds healthy. Sounds robust. Sounds like nothing could shake this heart. You got a good one. Okay, I'm gonna listen on the bell side for any murmurs. Okay. No murmurs. So go ahead and breathe deeply for me. In, two, three, and out, two, three. In, two, three, and relax, two, three, and go to the other side. In, two, three, and out, two, three. In, two, three, and relax. Two, three. Excellent. Okay, so that's good. I'm going to take your temperature. Okay, you're at 98.1, so that's good. A very healthy subject for me. Very, very good. Okay, okay. So on this side, that's not fixed. I'm just gonna take your blood pressure. I hope it's not elevated, but let's go ahead and see. Okay. I'm a witch. I've never taken someone's blood pressure in my life. This is all new to me. I don't know what to do. Your blood pressure, you know what? Let's forget all that. Okay, let's forget all that. Let's leave that hocus pocus behind. I'm just gonna feel your blood, okay? So I'm feeling, I'm feeling your wrist right now, okay? I'm gonna feel your blood. I'm going to feel the blood as it hits against the walls of your skin. It feels good. It feels, it feels like you got a good flow going on in there, okay? It feels lovely. I think I'm gonna go ahead and write down that you have a good blood pressure and that that's not something we're gonna worry about today, okay? Okay, very good. So. I'm gonna go ahead and check your hair for lice or louses. Okay. See if you have your own little familiars going on. I'm not seeing anything so far. I'm not seeing any little bugs. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and check. Oh, you do. I see a little bug right here. I see a little flea. I'm gonna put it back on your head because we as witches love creatures. They do our hearts good to have as many little creepy crawlies. It's healthy for you, just like the spider. Do you remember the spider? When I rubbed the spider on your face and you felt so happy? Well, the same goes for these, these louses. I picked them up with my comb and we're gonna put them back to their homeland, okay? And they're, they're gonna help you. They're very helpful. It's good to have little animals by your side at all times. Okay, so that's good. I'm gonna be palpating your head now, all right? Just gonna be feeling your beautiful face. Very good. I need to ask you, I forgot to ask you in the questionnaire. Would you like to be made immortal today? Because I do have that capability to make you live forever. Like the Count of Saint Germain. 
so you'd like to think about it. Okay, let me give you some time to think about that. It's a very, it's a heavy decision. It sure is. But I myself am 600 years old. I made the choice to become immortal about 600 years ago. I've not looked back. I understand that there are really annoying things about living on this planet as a human being, but I've just kind of relished in every moment. So if you would like to be made immortal too, there's a whole network of us, so you won't be alone. Cindy is immortal too. We're both immortal. Okay. And I do some measurements on your face. Immortal witches value symmetry of the face. And it looks like you have perfect symmetry, so that's very good. You're a good candidate for immortality and otherwise. So far everything seems good, but we'll check and see what happens with the rest of your body. Who knows? Okay, so I'll be doing my atones. I'm gonna put my hand right here on your nose. Try to turn your head this way. Three, two, one. No, uh, you're not that strong, are you? That's a pity. Okay, so let's go the other way. Let's try to turn your head this way. Three, two, one. Very good. Now I'm going to place my hand right here. I'm going to look up at the ceiling. Three, two, one. Good. I need to see your face right here. Just to make sure it's framed perfectly. Okay. Some more measurements need to be made. Okay, I think you need more of that toad elixir to stretch it on your face because your face looks a little dry again. It's dry. Okay, I'm just gonna be rubbing it in perfectly, perfectly, perfectly. Yes. So you should feel a lot better now. How are you feeling? Is it a little better now? Good, okay. Now I'm going to Put my hand on your chinny chin chin. Three, two, one, look up. Good. Now look chin to your chest in three, two, one. Very good. So I'm going to go ahead and just feel. I think the elixir is working. Alright, that's perfect. Excellent. Alright, now I want you to go ahead and stare straight at my nose. Alright. Going to check. Let's see what happens with your pupils when I wave my wand. Good. Now look at my wand. Follow it with your eyes. Don't move your head. Follow my magic light. Good. Ignore my fingers. Ignore my fingers. Look at the light. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Follow it. Follow it. Very good. Very 
to not take your eyes off of the light. Just the light. Ignore what my fingers are doing. Good. Very good focus. Now, I want you to tell me which of my fingers are moving. Your left or your right? Good. 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 Very good. So, so far everything's going good. I'm going to come a little closer and I'm going to check your pupils. Okay. Let's see. They look very nice. They look healthy and reactive. They look focused. They look like docile to my witchcraft, to the subliminal spell I've been putting on you this entire video. I'm going to look at the other eye. Okay. Very good. See the whites in your eyes are very white, clean and clear. I'm going to ask you to read a few things. Go ahead and read this first row for me. Starting with the T and ending with the R. Good. Can you read it backwards? Rock. Hurt. Can you spell it backwards? Good. Okay, what does that, what does that row say? Okay. And all of these letters, I'm going to bring a little further away. Starting with the T, ending with the T. Good. Let's do starting with this T and ending with this T. Good. Can you read this whole phrase? Excellent. Okay. Um, we're going to do a color test. Okay. What color is this? What color is this? It's a golden yellow, but I will accept yellow. And what color is this? Orange. Read this word. It's a word. Eek. So what is this letter? What is this letter? Okay. If it's turned around, uh, what number would it read? The B3. What about this? Okay, and what color is this? And what creature is this? It's a spider. Okay, very good. So it seems like you have 2020 vision that you're seeing things accurately, which is good for me. Okay. So next, I'm going to give you something to smell and taste. Okay, this is a special elixir. When you smell this, your whole brain chemistry is going to change. I think it'll be in a good way. Close your eyes and inhale. What does that smell like? Sweet orange. So I'll accept tangerine. You were very close, so I'll commend you for that. Okay, so I'm going to give you a couple things to taste. All right, what does this taste like? Go ahead and Close your eyes, open your mouth. What does that taste like? Okay, you said a little salty. Well, it's toad slime. Toad slime does have a, a bit of a salty flavor to it, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that you, you pass on that. I'm gonna give you one more thing to taste, okay? Just to wash that toad slime out of your mouth. Okay. All right, open. What does that taste like? Right. Well, mm hmm. See, chicken broth, that's very close to what it is. It's the bone marrow of a dragon. So, um, but I, I understand the chickeny vibes that you would be getting from it, okay? So, I'm gonna go ahead and say, you're, you're okay, Mary. You're doing great so far. Yeah. I think it's time for me to check your ears. So, you've been listening very well, so I'm not too concerned, but go ahead and look this way. I'm just going to peek inside. Your tympanic membrane mm, is just as gray as that spider. It's a nice spidery gray. I'm liking what I see here. Okay, a little bit of scratching. Have you attended a loud concert lately? Okay, I don't see an infection or irritation, so the scratch seems to be old. Was it from when you were a teenager? Did you go to a concert when you were a teenager? Very good. Okay. All 
sorry. Well, nothing to be done there. Go ahead and look this way and then look inside the other ear. Okay. Lovely. A little less scratching here, but you have some wax built up. Okay, let me see if I can get some of that wax out of your ear. Hold still. I'm just gonna just gonna poke in here. Just get the inside of your ear. Gleaming your ear. Stay still. Okay. So that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and change this glove because I just got pretty deep in there. Okay, we are fresh. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that you're hearing properly, okay? Do you hear this sound? Did it stop? Closure. Let me know what the sound stops. Say no. Good. 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 Which is louder, one or two? One or two. Good. One or two. Good. One or two. Body full. Okay. I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm going to be whispering some things in your ear. Repeat exactly what you hear after me, okay? sharper dull task clean to make sure you can feel properly so the toad slime should have given you some nice um, open sensations so you should be able to nail this test okay sensations in your face feel excellent, normal, safe. Okay, so I think my elixir worked. I'm going to go ahead and move on to your stomach and your chest and other areas of your body, okay? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and palpate your chest with this pumpkin. Okay, so you should feel a light tapping.
Did you feel sore at all? Did you feel in the Halloween spirit? Good. Very good. Of course, it's going to be. Any pain there? Any pain there? Pain. Pain. Any pain? Any pain? Any pain? Okay, good. I'm gonna go ahead and do an abdominal exam now. I'm gonna inspect your entire stomach area, okay? Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and palpate your stomach. Just relax. I'm actually gonna listen for any gurgling sounds. Since I did give you some strange things to taste, it would be good to Make sure that all is well in your digestive area. Okay, so just be normal. Very good. Very good. I feel a little bubbling. Very good. Does the stethoscope feel like a warm or a cold sensation? Good, okay. So that's good. I'm going to go ahead and um, percuss your stomach. Good. Okay, I'm gonna palpate now. I'm gonna feel your organs, your liver and spleen. Very good. Your liver feels like it's a normal size, so that's good. just to make sure that your stomach is not numb. Okay. And as you've noticed, our little mascot has left the room because that was her intent and she gets to do what she wants. Okay. Yes. about my question about being made immortal. Okay, you're still thinking about it? All right, it's gonna be about three more minutes and you're gonna have to make your decision, okay? Okay. So, I'm going to do a Babinski response test. Okay. All right, everything looks good. Capillary refills. Okay, you've lost a little bit of circulation on your toes, so that's a bit of concern. I'm seeing a three second refill instead of a two second refill, so that's not what we wanna see. And then your foot just fell off too, so that's not good. Um, so you have a, you have a right foot, you don't have a left foot, but you have a left leg, so you could work with that think you'll be okay? Okay. So I'm just going to do a sharpened dull test on this foot. This foot, <laughs> I don't think it's necessary. Um, there's a bit of blood down there. 
so I'm gonna maybe bring in a towel to sop that up. This might be a good time to make that decision about being immortal. I would vote yes, because with the rate you're losing blood, you might not be around for much longer. But let's cross that bridge when we get to it. Let's do a sharp and dull test. Dull or sharp? Dull or sharp? Good. Good. Very good. Excellent. Okay. And which foot am I squeezing? Your only foot. Your, your right foot. Good job. So. So. Are you thinking about maybe becoming immortal? Okay. So I'm just gonna have to give you a little love bite on the neck. And, uh, and then you're gonna, you're gonna be immortal. Okay? It's gonna be really cool. So. Thank you for allowing me to do this exam. The blood on your left stump is going to heal up quickly and you'll grow a new foot soon because you're immortal and it takes a, uh, it's impossible to kill you. So that's good. Now we have a Facebook group uh, just to be connected, all of us immortal. So would you like to join? Okay, so I'll send you a friend request and then a request to join the Facebook group. It is private. It is only for immortal um, souls and witches, okay? You're not a witch yet, you're just immortal. But um, there's classes you can take to become an actual immortal witch like me. Yeah, we just stock hospitals and nursing homes and different places where people are laid up and we give them exams. Yeah, that's about all we do. We eat sandwiches. We like Cuban sandwiches. Um, I could go on about that, but I don't want to bore you. Okay. So you're immortal now. You're doing great. Uh, I wouldn't worry about any of your vitals. Actually, I could have bit you at the beginning of this video, and uh, I wouldn't have had to do any of this. So, uh, yeah. That was your last exam. No more need for any exams in the future. You're going to have a you're going to have a pretty long life. All right. You're welcome. You are welcome. Now go to sleep. Drift off to sleep, okay? Drift off to sleep. You're gonna need your energy. Energy. Alright, bye. Happy Halloween and happy spooky Thanksgiving and happy fall and happy leaves on the trees. Happy hiking, happy hot chocolate and lattes and happy... <sighs> that was my stomach. Happy... Creature time.